Hey Katie, welcome back to Fright Fest. Thank you so much, I'm so glad to be here. So this is your second year. Yep. And you were here last year with the world premiere of The Paper Round, mm -hmm. which was your short film. Yeah. How was that experience and tell us about that? Um, yeah, it was great. I mean, I've been coming to Fright Fest for, for years now, obviously predominantly in London, um, but just to, to get in and to screen in front of your friends and your family as well. and know the crowd and you really value their um, their opinion and, and their feedback as well and it was it was pretty overwhelming to be fair yeah. really good <laughs> and yesterday we world premiered your brand new short film mindless mm -hmm. tell us about that tell us about the film first of all um well, the film is about um a middle-aged man called peter who is suffering some from some kind of memory loss it's not really alluded to because i didn't want to get too much into that point He's obviously a vulnerable adult and he has a carer come and look after him daily and then every time she turns up the house is in like disarray, there's like broken furniture everywhere, there's like you know broken pottery or whatever everywhere mm. and, um, and she's worried for his safety because obviously she's assumed that it's him, he's there on his own but he's blaming it on something else that's living there. Mm -hmm. And tell us about the casting. Obviously, Nicholas Venn's Chatterer from Hellraiser. Yeah. How was he? Did you write it for him? or? Well, originally, I asked him to um, be in Keepsake, which was supposed to be my fourth film. Right. Funding fell through. I thought, you know, I'm still going to make it. I'll work it out. And then we lost location the day before. But originally, in Keepsake, he was in it for like three seconds. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even supposed to be in the whole thing. And I thought, well, how am I going to take this away? How am I going to do my next short? So I rewrote Keepsake took everything that I thought was good, organic, and how I could make it work for myself. And I actually wrote him as the lead. Mm. And I sent it back to him and he, he loved it. But I mean, originally I just emailed him off the blue, said, do you want to be in my film? Mm. And he said, well, you know, I love your other shorts, but um, send me a script and I, I kind of based it off that. And I think he like emailed me at like 3 a.m. saying, hell yes. <laughs> so I was like, oh, good. Um, so yeah, that's, 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 that's how we came on board. And how was the premiere? How did the, the fans react to it and what, what's been the feedback since? Yeah, really, really good. Really strong. Twitter went mental yesterday and I think I had a review come out like 20 minutes later. Wow. Which is a really, really good review. Um, but yeah, it's been really, really positive. I think everyone's aware what kind of horror films I make. You know, they are kind of heavily kind of dramatised, social mm -hmm. realism, kind of very British films. Mm -hmm. um, and I do draw much more on the psychological element of things. and you know, placing a person within more of a realistic setting, something that you can kind of relate to, and, you know, something like dementia and that, I think that, that that's like a fear across the board, you know, that's kind sure. of, you know, like when you get older. And my point of the film as well was, like, as a vulnerable adult, regardless of what you've done or who you are, you have that level of respect that's owed to you, you know, mm. for people to look after you. And I think that really connected to people. I mean, I had... Um, Mike, Mike Hewitt came up to me and said that was, he's got um, family in care homes and he said yes. it really, really resonated with him. But I worked in a care home for five years for oh, uni, so that's right. kind of where I drew it from as well. Sure. So I kind of, you know, the impact that from had on heart. me, yeah, yeah. From, from, from working there. And obviously we always try and encourage female directors. That's a really important thing. Where do you stand on that? Do you mean predominantly horror or do you mean... Yeah, or just general, or yeah. horror, but yeah, generally. Yeah, I mean, I think that we're getting a lot more momentum than I think we used to. I think there's a lot more, you know, highlighting of issues that mm -hmm. isn't like fair equality. Um, I mean, I just recently um, did a panel on horror, uh, Women in Horror Month, sorry, yeah. and those kind of, they're, they're great because it highlights the issues, but also it's basically, yes, you're highlighting this issue, but ultimately you just want equality across the board. Absolutely. You just want to be treated exactly yes. the same. But we also have to remember that it is talent as well. You know, you either make good films or you don't. It shouldn't matter yeah. of gender. It should be above gender. Absolutely. So it, it, it's hard, but I think that with the statistics and stuff, you just want a fair trial. You just want a fair chance. Sure. You're not asking, you know, oh, well, you know, it should be, you know, 10, 10 male films, 10 female films. It should be quality, but you want to know that you'll be giving the best chance that you, the possible, yes. you know. Take us through your next project, which is a feature film, it finally. It is a feature film, finally. Yeah, I mean, I can't really give away too much of the story, actually. Sure, yeah. Um, it is a um, magical social realism. Okay. Somebody coined that term to me yesterday. Magical social realism. So it's a, it's a fantasy horror film um, meets social realism. And there's out. no title for it yet. There Alan, is no Alan Jones is going to help you with the title. Man, I mean, that title is <laughs> killing me because I actually thought of the idea about three years ago and the, the fantasy world is based on something that everybody knows that nobody's ever done. Mm. So it's really hard to like ask people to come up with titles if you can't obviously tell them what it's about. But I'm so protective of the idea because 
I've just never seen it done before. <laughs> Good luck with everything. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so Katie. much. Thank you for having me. There you go.